Hi, today we will add a HANA Cloud database to our project. Of course, you can also use an on-premise database if you like so. Then you need the cloud connector and the steps you need to follow are a little bit different compared to the steps you will see in this video. Uh, when it comes to connecting the database, um, the CRUD operators are essential, which stands for create, read, update and delete. You will see this in this video. Have fun, enjoy. On the left, you can see the Project Explorer, where all files of the project are displayed in a certain standardized structure. The app folder is empty because no front end has been created yet. The DB folder contains the database modules. The SRV folder contains the service related files. Otherwise, there are the usual files such as package.json or readme. The structure is also briefly explained again in the readme file. To enable HANA native deployment, the MTA must be uh, configured somewhat and the path of the database module must be changed. These changes only need to be made uh, to optimize the development for HANA native applications. Firstly, the entire dev dependencies area can be deleted, as it's not uh, needed here. Then the CDS area must be redefined. As a result, the previous changes in the MTA in the path are also adopted for the rest of the project. The HDI settings are also changed, as this ensures greater compatibility with the HANA Cloud can be achieved. Now run npm install so that all required uh, models can be loaded into your project. The npm install g hana is executed as the cds deploy command is not used to write to the hana. An additional file is required which is generated by this. The hana uh, create model must be executed. Now to create the database entities. To do this, a new file is created in the DB folder with the name interactions.cds. All entities of the database can be created there with the corresponding data types. After all entities have been created, another file must be created. It is created in the SRV folder with the name interactions.crvcds. Uh, this file is used to define the service in order to be able to use the entities from the previous step and to make them uh, accessible. Now execute CDS build in the console. This prepares the file for the sub this prepares the files for later deployment. It executes build tasks. Now the created artifacts and builds are deployed in the HANA. Now go to the SAP HANA projects section in the Explorer and click on bind in the uh, project. For the further steps in the uh, for the further steps it is necessary to be logged into Cloud Foundry. If this is not yet the case you will first be prompt to log in. The connection is shown in the Explorer after completing. The connection is shown in the Explorer after completing. The connection is shown in the Explorer after completed. The whole thing is then deployed to the database. The whole thing is then deployed to the database by selecting the the whole thing is then deployed to the database by selecting the rocket symbol. The database tables can be viewed via the database the database tables can also be viewed graphically by clicking on the container symbol. The HANA database explorer then is opened. Enter the tables there inside The HANA, database, the HANA Database Explorer is used to load the data into the database. When you right-click on the table and select Import Data uh, to follow the... If you right-click on the table and select Import Data, you can follow the wizard and upload the uh, CSV file here. 
Make sure that the tables are correctly assigned to the columns. In the last step, click on Import Data. On the last, in the last, in the last step, click on Import Data. The cup service layer must be started by entering a command. The name can be found in the env file. The name can be found in the env file under y cap service. This binds the service directly to the HANA Cloud uh, HDI instance that was previously assigned to the project. This binds the service directly to the HANA Cloud HDI instance that was previously assigned to the project. This connects CAP to the instance. Then run uh, npm install to add any missing uh, node models. Then run npm install to add any missing node models. An application router must then be created. This is used to connect the microservices and create an access point to the application. For example, it forwards the request to the backend. To do this, enter the command cds add app router in the console, preferable in a new terminal. For this project, I also delete the authentication part because uh, I don't want to use it in, in this project. Okay, the database was connected, data was written into it, and the necessary services required for the communication with the application has been started. The backend is now ready to use in this form. I hope you enjoyed the video and took something for you out of it. Have a nice day. See you next time.